All right, you got it by yourself? Hit it. Come on, Howard. Yeah. How important was it? How important was it? How important was it for the defense to keep you in the game? You know that, that kind of what we that kind of happened in the uh, <clears throat> Brazil game too against the Packers. They just kind of helped us uh, stay in it when it wasn't going great. Um, I think the defense has done a really nice job. They played a, they played a great game today. Um, forcing that turnover, I think after our turnover was huge uh, to keep it at seven seven three. Um, but they played. I just thought that they played. They started fast. They played great throughout the entire game. We tackled. I, I love when we tackle well. I mean, we've tackled really well. I, you know, just those guys on that football team on the, on the Cowboys have some guys that can really do some damage with the ball in their hands. C.D. Lamb, Ferguson, uh, obviously Zeke, and, and, and uh, 23. They got a lot of guys that can. And, and, and Turbin, Turpin. Um, they got a lot of guys that can. That you got to be. You got to be alert for. That was a keys all week of you know fundamentally sound. So we really tackled well. Um, and we really did a good job taking the football away and, and having the football on our mind. Um, and so, you know, good start by them, good f- performance by them all the way through. What did you think show, of Jalen uh, Sorry. Uh, yeah, I thought he did uh, did a lot of good things. You know, obviously didn't start the way we wanted it to start. Uh, but there's something to be said for guys that can can rebound and, and play a, a really good game after things don't go uh, right early on. Um, you know, we'll want some of those plays back. He'll want some of those plays back. But great, um, great job handling adversity, uh, putting his head down, continuing to work. Um, you know, again, I say it to you guys all the time. He's a winner. Um, he knows how to win. He knows, you know, every game's not going to be perfect. Um, and I just, I'm really proud of him and how he responded to a slow start. Um, and help lead us to a, a victory. Were they doing something to make him hold the ball longer? No. Um, I, I thought they, they played similar to what we thought. Uh, obviously, that's a really good rush. Uh, they got some dangerous guy. I think, uh, you know, Diggs is a, a phenomenal football player. Um, you always got to be aware of where he is. Obviously, if you make a mistake around him, um, <clears throat> anybody, if, we, if we're off on a landmark, if we're late with a throw, if we're anything, that guy can make you pay. Uh, uh, I just I got a lot of respect for him and, and the way he can take the football away and the, and the player that he is, and so uh, I think a little bit you know it was, it was him on that that side the rush was getting there we were in second and predictable um, where you had to pass because we didn't get the run game going quite early as as early as we wanted to and, and play the game we wanted to play. Um, hats off to them of how they how they stopped us early on, uh, but good rebound by our by our players and our coaches to to turn the tide in the second half. What's Man, uh, he just keeps getting better. Um, you know, wasn't a lot of plays that he had at inside linebacker coming into this. Um, like I said, I, I kind of gushed to you guys about uh, Bobby King earlier this week and the, and the job he's doing. Um, and then that's the same thing with the Kobe getting everybody on the same page. Zach's a great athlete. He's tough. Um, you, you see him in the open field making tackles. You see him sticking his face in there in, in tight quarters. You see him being able to rush. He's on a streak now, right now, of taking the football away and the ball being on his mind. Um, just think he's a really good foot. He's just a really good, like, best compliment I can give a guy is, man, that guy's a really good football player. Uh, and that, that happens when you're tough, you're physical, um, you know, all detailed. Um, and he's playing really fundamentally sound and just getting better every time he steps out on the field. Nick, uh, Jalen Carter said that every week they watch uh, the tapes of different turnovers from around the league. Uh, why do you do that? What do you think the benefit is of showing the players that? Yeah, uh, again, you're just trying to put them in positions. Like, you can only practice it so many times, right? So you put them in drills. You put them in practice. We harp on it. You know, anytime there's an opportunity missed at practice, you know, that's going to be in the team meeting the next day as far as, hey, we got this vice tackle right here. You're not, you're not taking a shot at the ball. Or you are taking a shot at the ball. And so it's on our mind. It's the same way we do it with the, the offense and how we take care of the football. Um, and then the best thing, like, I think good teams learn from their mistakes and great teams learn from everybody's mistakes, right? And so, like, you you can watch situational football throughout the week and say, hey, here's what, you know, th- this team did in this scenario, and, and you get better from that, you know, whether it was good or bad. And you do the same thing with fundamentals. I really look at football IQ and fundamentals very similar, right? And so that's a big process of what we go through early in the week. It's a big process, what we go through late in the week, and you can always learn from it, right? There was a, 
an Ohio State, uh, Penn State play where the where the guy had the ball on his outside arm and um, you know good tomahawk hit on the ball near the goal line um, on the quarterback of Ohio State rolled out of bounds. Like we, we're going to learn from everything we possibly can. Shoot, there was a clip that was somebody saw on Twitter or whatever, and the, and this little kid ran from behind, took it from that his the guy because the guy wasn't locked in, and then he t we'll learn from anything we can possibly learn from. Um, Shoot, I saw her St. Joe's prep got a big win over LaSalle. Uh, yeah, I know, it was just, but a good battle, good battle. Both teams were really good, but I'm sure we will learn something from that game. Anything we can, any we can, anything we can learn from, uh, we will. Um, and I think that's a sign of a good team. Again, like I said, what I say to the guys a lot are good teams learn from their mistakes. Great teams learn from the mistakes, you know, across the league. And it doesn't have to be the league. It can be college football. It can be pee wee football. It can be high school football. It doesn't matter. Uh, just always in a mindset of getting better. What, what did Jalen learn from his mistakes? You know, we, we haven't watched the tape yet, um, but I thought, like I said, I just thought that one of the hard, I think one of the hardest things to do personally and, and I, just being around this is be able to move on, right, and say, man, this didn't go as planned. How do I move on? And so we'll watch the tape. We'll get better from that tape. But he moved on. Like, he didn't let one play affect the rest of his game. That's what winners do. Uh, that's what Jalen, Jalen Hurts does. Um, and, I, and I'm so accustomed to him doing that um, because, you know, when he makes a mistake, he's able to, he's able to put it in the past. I think that, that's, that's not as easy as it, it sounds. I, I really do believe that because, you know, we're human. We, we, we know we make mistakes, and then it's, it ruminates in your mind. Uh, and, and the only thing you can do to, to really move on is learn from it later and, and move on and play the next play. And so we'll look at the tape to, to see what we can learn from that. Uh, you know, I got a couple theories on it right now, just have seen it live. Uh, but I'm so proud of him, the fact that he was able to move on to, from a rough start and, and get it going. What did he do on that touchdown play? What did he do on that touchdown play when he uh, evaded the uh, block rusher and hit Dallas? Yeah, I th just thought it was a great scramble. Like he, he's been, we've been doing a good job uh, working with the quarterback. It's been a big emphasis of the scramble drill. I feel like we've Jalen's done a good job of uh, you know eluding the rush, being able to escape outside, both to the right and left, and also through the middle, um, having all those different options for him. Um, and the guys are doing a good job. It takes everybody. It's an unscripted play. Uh, Dallas did a good job freeing himself up because it looked like Dallas was in sort of a, I, I don't know if they were in man on that particular play, but they did a good job of uh, plastering, which we'll call it, um, once he did scramble, and Dallas did a good job of freeing up, and Jalen found him. Nick, on his fumble, um, you talked in the past about keeping two hands on the ball in the pocket. Uh, on that play, he was kind of going to tuck it yeah. while also trying to stiff arm Micah. It's, yeah, that's that's one that's going to always be hard to do two hands on play. Uh, you know, when you, you do two hands, when you're stepping up in the pocket, you know, you're moving in the pocket, and he had a couple like that. He was actually trying to get it tucked. Um, one thing, you know, the ball's at risk. You know, catch, tuck, the ball's at risk, right? Off the mesh, the ball's at risk because you have to get to your proper mechanics. And he was trying to right here, try to get to his proper mechanics. And that's when we tell our defense to kind of come after the ball in those sets. So he hadn't got to his – proper mechanics yet you know and that's you know he has to be a passer and ready to throw then he goes to tuck it I like that he went to tuck it he's got to get his elbow locked a little bit quicker um that's tough to do in, in the in the heat of it um and then was it Micah who got it man he's man he's a stud I can't say enough good things about number 11 over there I, you know he's uh he you know we probably thought about him this week more than we thought about our loved ones and you know er, and or anybody else like the offensive staff had him on our mind the entire game, had him on our mind the entire week, and that's what you got to do with good players around the league. Um, hats off to him. He made a good play there. Um, and so it is about the transition from either the catch to the tuck or the, or the hand, mesh to the tuck or the two hands on the ball to the tuck. So I don't th he just it just didn't get there yet, and that, and that happens, and, it, and a good player made a good play on the other team. Wait, one more. With, the short, with the short week coming up, how beneficial is it to get some of the starters from us in the fourth quarter? Yeah, that's always that's always big. Anytime we can do that, that's been three times in the past four weeks. You know, we were able to do that against the Giants. We were able to do that against Cincinnati. Um, that adds up. I mean, that's three quarters now, and we were able to do that tonight. And so that adds up, and um, you know that that's huge. Uh, going into this game, we know we got a tough game coming up. Uh, this one, we had fun in there for a little bit, but we know that we play on a short week against a really good opponent, um, and we got to get our minds right, and we have to get our bodies right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.